YouTube, what's good? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for always coming to stop by and listen to me talk about that smell good. All right, so I'm your guy one more time, Desiree L. Higgs Jr. And on this channel, we talk fragrances. We talk what they can do for your confidence. We talk, you know, how they smell. We talk about when to wear them, how to wear them, opinions, discoveries. We talk about a lot of things wrapped around the world of fragrance, okay? So to all my new, um, Hopefully my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys like you guys like what you're hearing, what you're seeing from me. And if you do, as always, please, please, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. You'll be notified every single time that I drop a brand new fragrance video. And to all my returning subscribers, what's good, y'all? Hope all is well. Hope all is good. And um, hope a lot of peace and blessings are out your way. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, the video today. We're going to be reviewing a review on a fragrance that. I've been spending a lot more time with. Now, this is one of the more one of the more hype fragrances that you see probably every day on YouTube and you know probably on most days when I watch YouTube for fragrances, this fragrances is fragrances somewhere in there, okay? So um can't wait to get into this one and just kind of give my take and give my spill on it. So from the house of Versace, we're talking about none other than Dylan Blue. Okay, Dylan Blue. All right. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, it smells great. So, for me, um, you know, Dylan Blue, I got this probably a few months ago, and I'm not going to lie. Um, I just was intrigued by it after, you know, really jumping on a Versace bandwagon with Arrows, Arrows Flame, Poor own, and I said, you know what? Let me take a stab at Dylan Blue. And to be real with you, I really wasn't like thinking about Dylan Blue like that. I knew it was out there. I heard what was being said about it, but I really wasn't too interested into it. So one of my partners, shout out Kevin Dunbar, my guy, he had a bottle, and he let me know he had a bottle. I said, man, let me get my nose on that man before I go spend some money. I'm really thinking about buying this fragrance. So he let me smell it. I said, okay, cool okay cool this is something i want to get something i can wear to the office a versatile fragrance let me look into it end up copping the bottle now at first i was gonna buy 200 m off the rip because the deal was so great but i was like nah i really wasn't really into this in the begin to begin with so let me just go ahead and stick with 100 ml do i regret that now boy i regret that now i wish i would have went ahead and got the um uh 200 uh, millimeter I wish I would have all right so with that all that being said let's get a little bit more light in here yeah so with all that being said I you know got my 100 ml bottle and I was really pleased uh, with the purchase so let's go ahead and get into how this smells let's get into the scent now a lot of people compare this to a fresh shower jelly fragrance and it does have that um, it's definitely a fresh spicy woody fruity umbroxan based fragrance 100 it definitely is and it smells great um with the type of fragrance like this for it to be an edt it does really well um you get compliments you get people looking your way um i just wore this to work maybe a few days ago and i'm not lying to you the first couple hours of my day i got at least five to six compliments at least five to six compliments uh, wearing this fragrance and once i you know really came to my sense say you know what this is going to be an everyday rotation for me in the office so for me this is going to be one of my go-to office fragrances going forward reason being it's versatile it's inoffensive it smells tremendous it's office safe you're not going to choke nobody out i mean unless you spray 30 sprays now, I'm gonna overspray it to a certain point, but I ain't going 30, all right? Keep it no more than 10. No more than 10, you should be good, <laughs> all right? Um, but anyway, this is just gonna be one of those fragrances that I really lean on when I'm going uh, to work. And I guess it depends how I feel if I pull it out for anything else. But like I said, you get that, um, you get some fruitiness, that shower gel vibe, um, broxin, uh fresh spicy, um got some musk in here as well citrus like i just i think i said citrus already got some citrus in here as well so it's going to do you a solid whenever you wear this okay i see why it's a fan favorite i see why people gravitate towards it and want it in their collection and they love it the way they do i totally understand that uh but like i said for me 
this bottle here, what's inside, gonna be wearing it to the office. Um, as far as the versatility goes, like I said, I think you can kind of wear this all year long. You can wear this in the spring, the summer, the fall. Um, you can wear it, it depends where you live. I always state that I live in Florida. So a Florida winter isn't a Wisconsin winter or a New York winter. So if I lived in a colder area, probably wouldn't wear this in the winter. But due to the fact I live in Florida, I'll wear this in the winter, all right? It's that versatile um, to me, to me at least. Um, projection on this thing is significant. You get about a good two hours, two and a half hours of projection, longevity. I'm gonna say anywhere between eight to 10 hours off my skin and off my clothing. Um, CI just tremendous. It gives you a fantastic scent bubble. So whoever you're walking by or whoever's walking up on you, they're definitely gonna get a full uh, experience with this fragrance. And I love fragrances like that, where if someone's in your space or you're heading to somebody else's space, they can get that full experience uh, wearing of uh, Versace Dylan Blue. Um, where can you wear this? I've stated already the office is big for me, but you can wear this on a date. You can wear this out and about. Again, versatility. You can really wear it anywhere. Now, I'm not saying I won't break this out on a date. I'm not saying I won't break this out if I'm going to a event where it's called calling me to dress up. It just really depends on where I'm going, what's the temperature, is it inside, is it outside? That's how I go with fragrances, but you can definitely pull this off uh, with a, a nice suit. Um, and nice suit tie, you know, very nice event that you're going to. You could definitely wear this hanging out with the fellas. You could definitely take a, you know, your lady on a date and y'all can go out and enjoy some food, hit a movie or something like that. It'll work in all those uh, areas in my opinion. Um, so the smell is fantastic. The performance is great. You can wear this anywhere. Versatility, I think the last couple of reviews I had, I've, I have and I put out here on YouTube, have been wrapped around, you know, versatility uh, in fragrances, okay? Um, but I like this one a lot. So, of course, I got like my top five all time, maybe even top 10, and those are what they are. But then you have your rotation beast. And I gotta say, your rotations, your rotation fragrances are just as important as your top fragrances of all time. Why is that? Well, in your rotation, you're doing what? You're wearing them on the regular. This is not my last bottle of Versace Dylan Blue. I'll always have this. I mean, I put it along the lines of stuff like, um, you know, Chanel, Bloody Chanel. I ain't saying it's like Bloody Chanel, but for me, Bloody Chanel, I always have. Versace Pro Homme, I'll always have. Um, what else do I love? Man, uh, I got so many, I can't even think of nothing. I'll talk about Polo Red, I'll always have. Just kind of signature type scents for me. This could be a signature. I haven't really thought of it like that, but the more I wear it, and the more I think about it right now, I guess it is one of my signature scents because I wear it all the time. All right, so Versace does a great job with their fragrances. I have quite a few Versace's and I got a couple more that I'm gonna reach out and try to grab. But um, this one is up there. If you're looking for something that won't disappoint you, if you're looking for something that's blind by safe, if you're looking for something that's just gonna get the job done no matter where you are, or who you're around, or what you're wearing, or the circumstances or the climate, go with this. Go with Versace Dylan Blue. You won't lose, you can't lose. It's something that's gonna garnish you, garner you a lot of compliments. It's gonna garner you a lot of attention and people are gonna be looking your way, ask you, hey man, what you got on? And even some of the ladies, I, a lot of uh, our reviewers that I watch, I watch you know, Tiff Benson, she's one of them, she's great at what she does, and I believe she wears Versace Dylan Blue, so wear what you like. It doesn't matter, male, female, if you into it, wear it, all right? I mean, to me, I don't care. I mean, smelling good is smelling good. Uh, a compliment is a compliment, whether you're wearing a men's fragrance or a woman's fragrance, it really doesn't matter uh, to me, so do what you do, do what you do. So, last but not least, um, overall, I cover project, I cover performance, I covered um, where you can wear this. I covered that it's versatile. You can get away with it all year long, for sure, for sure. All right. So um, with all that being said, if I had to get this a rating, man, man, I get this an eight out of a ten. Eight out of a ten, for sure, for sure. And uh, the link will be down in the description. I'll find the best price possible, and you'll be able to click the link and uh, get some love there. So. Um, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys really enjoyed the video. And for people who are asking, you know, if I'm missing any notes, 
You got the bergamot, grapefruit, some water notes. You got some florals in here, umbroxan, like I mentioned. Black pepper, incense, musk, uh, tonka bean, which I love, and some saffron, all right? So a great blend. You can really get that umbroxan in there. The opening is tremendous with that grapefruit and those water notes in there, so it does well, all right? So you can't, 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 can't lose with this. So like I was saying, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up for me. I really appreciate that. Um, hit that subscribe button if you have not already and hit that bell you'll be notified every single time that'll drop a brand new video okay so hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll be seeing you guys on the next fragrance video all right you guys be cool out there